Hello and welcome back to the Complete Day Trading Course by Wealthy Education. In this video, how to identify overbought and oversold conditions using Relative Strength Index. The Relative Strength Index, or the RSI, is a very common indicator, which you can plot on the chart by clicking Indicators and scrolling down to the appropriate uh, Relative Strength Index. Go ahead and close that, and you can see that at the bottom of the chart, we have a box. There is the 30 and the 70, which is the top and bottom, respectively, of the chart. And essentially, what this thing does is it tells you when we may be overbought or oversold. Now, there are some things that you should pay attention to. So, for example, uh, double tops can form, uh, double bottoms, those type of things, before you actually see something on the chart. The area between 70 and 30 is considered to be normal. Uh, it's not overbought or oversold, so at that point, you really don't bother with the indicator. Although, it should be said that typically, 50 and above will occur in an uptrend, and uh, 50 and below in a downtrend. So, for example, let's take a look at the Disney one-hour chart, and let's take a look at uh, how it panned out. Well, you can see we have a double bottom underneath the 30 level, which is the oversold area. It's lower. And you can see we did, in fact, bounce. Um, however, we didn't get the overbought signal, so you can see that we just pulled back a little bit. And in that sense, the RSI by itself um, does typically need some tweaking or some secondary indicator or price action to become uh, fully um, effective. You can use things like trend lines as well. Um, here's a double bottom in the oversold right along this. Now there's a nice big hammer there, which of course is a supportive sign as well. And if you're using the RSI to exit, you're still in the trade, in theory at least. Of course, that was several days. A day trader probably would have been out long before then anyway. Uh, but really at that point, you can see how it does kind of pan out here. Let's go ahead and switch uh, over to another uh, stock here. Let's try Walmart. And you can see that, uh, interestingly enough, uh, Walmart gapped higher right here on earnings, and we went immediately to overbought. And that's extremely overbought, and we fell right away. And you can see we did, in fact, uh, fall uh, all the way to at least here before bouncing and here. We did not get a signal here, but we did get a signal there. And that was a buy signal, short-term buy signal. We got overbought here. We pulled back. We did not get a signal going back the other direction. And that's the thing. You know, price obviously can turn before it gets overbought or oversold. So this is just um, more or less looking at extremes, if you will, uh, in price movement and betting that the market will return to its standard uh, pricing mechanisms. So, as I mentioned previously, there is the possibility in some situations to use trend lines. Um, so, if you suddenly break a trend line, that can be a signal. Probably a little less popular, but you can see that we had a nice trend line here, and then we broke through it right there. So, that was a sell signal. Got a little bit of a double bottom, but it was not in the oversold area. So you know, read into that what you will, but it certainly does work. Um, interestingly enough, even though it's not a signal in and of itself, you can see that we were climbing long before price actually broke higher, so that could have been a little bit of a tip-off. Um, go ahead and go to the one-hour chart here, and you can see uh, as I mentioned previously, over bought, and then we took off uh, to the downside uh, at 
this juncture, you can see that this was overbought, but by itself, that signal may have found you some trouble. Um, that's why it's wise to often use support and resistance, like I had mentioned earlier in the course, to recognize where a decent trade may play out. So, using that, um, we start to look at the possibility of using, uh, for example, right here, you can see several uh, attempts to break down through there, and I would draw your attention to that. Just just oversold was a buying opportunity. Uh, this previous gap, of course, would attract some attention. Oversold, so that's a buying opportunity. Uh, when you look at the charts here, you can see that clearly something is going on right there at that price at about 87 and a half, 87 and a quarter. Uh, oversold and then oversold again, which is also at 88, an area that has been of interest recently as well. So you can use the RSI in a multitude of different ways. But as a general rule, I would suggest that you want to use it as a secondary indicator. You want it to confirm, for example, a shooting star or a trend line break or something like that to kind of give you another thing to hang your hat on.